Welcome back friends. I have done logging framework integration for our billing system. Logging, frame, logging framework is a very very important part of project development. Without the logging, we cannot uh, trace application issues and the application behavior. Then what's happening in the application. If you want to monitor those things, logging framework is a very very important. So that we need to integrate. Now we are going to see how to integrate the logging framework in Spring Boot application. Spring Boot uses a logback framework for logging mechanism. Using that only we can integrate logging framework. If you look at the project structure in the uh, resource folder, main resource folder, I have had a one file called logback-spring.xml. We can keep logback-spring.xml or logback.xml. Okay, I am keeping logback-spring.xml. In this file, we need to add all our logging related configurations. We'll go through one by one. In the configuration file, the logback configuration file, I have added this one. Property name equal to logs, value equal to dot slash logs. Meaning of this line is, I want to create some log files for my application. Those log files should create under log folder. Those files created under, should create under log folder. That log folder should be available in my product Sorry, in my project root path. This is the project root path. Building system is the project root path. Here, D colon, Furish, Java training, workspace, workspace hyphen, building system. Under building system is there. That building system is a root directory. Hmm. Now, this particular value stored in this logs variable. Okay. Then, I created a Two type of appenders. We can create several appenders as part of logback configuration. Before that, we, we should know what is appenders. Using appenders, we can tell where you want to store the logs, where you want to show the logs which is coming from your application. For example, I am saying log.info something. This particular statement, the print statement. You can decide where do you want to go that either, either server console or some file that configuration we can do through appender concept through this appender in this project i have created two appenders one is console appender another one is rolling file appender see here console appender another one is rolling file appender inside a console appender i have given patterns before that, I have given some class names, right? Part of this configuration. These classes and all, uh, logging framework API, we don't have to consider those things now. Just we'll go into focus on configurations. Instead of up under console, using pattern, pattern tags, I'm saying how my log information should print, should print in the console. Okay. Here, I have given some six parameters. Percentage D followed by I have given some date format. Whenever print any log statement, I want to print current date and time. Using this parameter, we can say that I want to print current date and time part of log statement. Percentage, percentage thread nothing but it will print current thread. Current thread that is which thread printing our log that thread name will print here this particular parameter is not useful for us for us because we are not using multi-thread environment if our application multi-thread environment using this par parameter using this parameter we can know that which thread is printing this current uh, log statement using this parameter we come to know that what is the level of logging currently printing. It's a info, debug, error, like that. Using this parameter, the current statement printing from which class? That class name 
print here. Using buffered MSG parameter, it will print the actual log statement that we are printing. The message that we are printing that will store here. Buffered n nothing but it's a new line. After printing the actual message, it will create a new line. I hope you understand uh, about this uh, console uh, configuration. Then how we can use this console configuration? That we'll go to see now. We configure the console appender. Now we need to use it. We defined here, but we are not using it now. We need to call this console appender to integrate in our uh, application. That is, as of now we have defined this console configuration. Now we need to call this console configuration to print log statement in our application that we will going to see now the console configuration i have applied in two places one is root another one is logger what is meaning of this line here i mentioned the root level equal to info up under if and ref ref equal to console that is the ref equal to i we, we need to mention our configuration stuff configuration detail I have given two type of configuration. One is console, another one is rolling file. I am calling this console configuration instead of root. Also, I am calling this console configuration instead of logger. First, you will see this. If you pass your logger configuration instead of root, this configuration applicable for entire application. In your entire application, wherever info statement is available, those info statement print in your console window. This is the console window. That is your server log, server console log. Okay. Now I'll go to start the server. See, you can see it's printing only info, 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 info. All infos are printing. Okay while starting the server because of this configuration because of this configuration now i will going to comment out let's see what's happening now i commenting this section that is i am not calling console configuration okay now i'm going to restart the server Server is restarted now. See, nothing is printing. Previously, we were seeing lot of info statement. Now, nothing is printing. Because we have commented out the console configuration. That is the reason. So, if you apply your logging configuration inside a root, that configuration applicable for entire application. Okay. Now we will see about this section. Logger name equal to com.id garden, level equal to info, additivity equal to false. First, we are going to see about this parameter, these two parameters. Com.id garden is our own package. Our own package, inside the package, we will going to create several classes, several Java classes. In the Java classes, we will going to use uh, several type of uh, log statement, it could be a error, it could be a debug, it could be a info. In our example, we are saying info. I am saying the level equal to info. Meaning of this line is whatever classes available inside IT garden, if that classes, if those classes uses info log statement, all those log statement I want to print console. I want to print in console window. Console window nothing but this is the console window. Okay, let's see it's working or not now. For that, I have created a small REST endpoint. API public slash test. API slash public slash test slash log. If you call this endpoint, this three log statement will print. This is test log one. This is test log two. This is test log three. Let's see it's working or not. I have already opened Postman. This is the REST endpoint to call this 
particular API. This particular API. I'll go into send request. It's done. Status equal 200. See the log. See here. This is test log 1. This is test log 2. This is test log 3. It's printing. Because of this configuration. Because of this configuration. Instead of logger configuration, I'm saying I want to print info statement in console window also. Whatever info, info log I am using inside this package, those info logs I want to print console window as well as rolling file. We will we'll talk about this later. Now, as we expected, it's printing, right? Let's see what's happening if we comment out this section. Now again, I'll go to invoke this API. I'm calling this API. See, nothing is printing. Again, calling this API. Nothing is printing. Why? Because I commented out. Whatever log statement coming from inside IT garden, I want to print that console window. That configuration is here. But since I commented out, it's not printing. So, this caller for I want to print info statement coming from com.id garden. This caller for I want to print all info statement coming from the entire application. Entire application means Spring Boot uses several uh, libraries, right? Those library uses info statement. Those info statement I want to print in console window. That is happening through this configuration. Through this configuration. Hope you understand about the console configuration now. Next one is we need to uh, see whatever format I have given. This, this format is printing in your console window. We will go to check now. I will go to call again. It's not printing. I uncommented it's not printing. The reason is I have to restart the server. Server is restarted now. Now I will go into send the request. Let me clear the window. See, control statement printing. Now we are going to verify is it printing according to this parameter, this, uh, this pattern. <coughs> the first parameter I want to print date in this pattern. See, it is printing that pattern only. Date, time, and the second. Sprinting, right? Second parameter is thread name. This is the current thread name. Third parameter is a level. Third is a info. I am printing here info only. So, it is saying info. Fourth one is current class name. Where I am printing this statement. This statement I am printing from test controller. That is the reason it's printing test controller. Fifth one is message. Whatever message I am passing inside the info parameter, info method parameter. That message I want to print here. That is the fifth parameter. After printing this message, I want to create a new line. That is the sixth parameter. Okay. So everything looks fine now. Now we are going to see what is rolling file. In the logger configuration, I am calling rolling file logging configuration also here i am calling two configuration one is console another one is rolling file now we are going to explore what is rolling file configuration rolling file is another type of appender console is another type of appender using console appender i am printing console window so our console window i am printing the log statement Using rolling file appender, I want to print log statement inside a log file. Inside a log file. In the line number 18, here I am mentioning file followed by inside the tag, I am saying that dollar braces locks close the braces. That meaning 
we traverse this path our billing system root path inside that folder i want to create one log file called billing iphone app dot log okay i want to create billing iphone app dot log after creating that file i want to print all the log statement inside a log file that log statement should follow in this pattern whatever pattern i have given in this pattern i want to print all log statement inside a billing iphone app dot log the first parameter is a date current date and time i want to print second parameter is a info that is level which level if percentage is nothing but priority that that refers uh, which type of log printing in the log statement it's a info debug or error and a percentage c this parameter saying that which class printing that uh, log statement the current class name print here percentage t nothing but it's a current thread which thread printing that log statement percentage m nothing but message currently the message we are printing from the class percentage nothing but i want to get a new line after printing the log statement this is the meaning of the particular log statement you can check here i am clearly explained about this information go on to read this article in the medium.com so you are you should understand about this configuration after that rolling policy in the rolling policy i have given some configuration generally what is the meaning of rolling policy using rolling policy we can give some condition if that condition reaches i want to create a backup file of my log file and create a new log file and start printing in that new file that is the use of rolling policy in our rolling policy i have given a condition saying that whenever my file reaches 5 mb using max file size tag i am saying that if my file reaches if the log file reaches 5 mb then create a one backup file under archived folder logs nothing but our application root folder under that root folder i want to create archived folder inside that archived folder i want to create a backup file for my log file which is should follow which should follow this format billing iphone app iphone percentage is nothing but current date current date dot percentage i nothing but number that is the index number for example in the very first time my log file reaches 5 mb our login framework create one backup file in this format since it is first file it will create a zero again our log file reaches a 5 mb the second time it will substitute here one again my log file reaches 5 mb that time i substitute with the one in third time again the login framework create a new backup file that time this file substitute with two like that will keep on go zero one two three like that okay <coughs> this is the file pattern tag using file pattern tag i'm saying that where i want to get my backup log file and in which format i want to create a backup log file i hope you understand rolling file up and down under rolling policy here i am calling that configuration inside the logger that meaning whatever info statement i am using inside a com.id garden classes that info statement should print inside a billing.app.log because rolling file nothing but rolling file configuration nothing but this section in inside this section i am saying i want to print all info statement inside the billing iphone app dot log so whatever info statement i am using inside a com dot id garden those info statement print inside a app dot sorry billing iphone dot app dot log okay now we're going to see the rolling file up under demo first we're going to check this log file is generating or not this log file should generate 
logs folder it is under application root folder according to our uh, login configuration this folder under our project root folder our project root folder is this is our project root folder building system is our project under that project i want to create a logs folder okay i'll going to remove that now i'll going to remove the entire stuff sorry since application started i not able to remove that i'll going to remove now now it's removed now under building system nothing see nothing i'll go to start the server see your log folder is created under log folder we can see now building iphone app log building iphone log app log is generated so this configuration is working fine this configuration is working fine then whatever log statement i am printing that log statement should follow this pattern should follow this pattern we'll check now that we'll see we'll use the same api to test that okay let me open this file now as of now it's print this information these are some application level info statements printed here now i want now i want to invoke that api uh, api invoked successfully go to the log file see here the log statement printed this is test log 1 this is test log 2 this is test log 3 whatever statement i have given here now we'll going to check is it following this pattern the first parameter is a performance id that is a current date and time see current date and time is printing second parameter is level which level of log it's a info level here it's printing info third parameter is a current class where from we are printing that log that is printing that log from test controller it's printing test controller fourth parameter is a current thread see this is the current thread fifth parameter is a message which message you are printing i am printing this message so that message printed here sixth parameter is a new line after printing that log statement I want to print a new line. That's it. Also, this rolling file up under configuration also working fine. This particular configuration, please check from your end. It reaches 5 MB, then only it will create a one folder, orchid folder. Under the orchid folder, it will create a backup file. Take this project. I have committed all the uh, code in our um, building system repository. Pull the code setting up in your local machine check this scenario definitely they should work okay i forgot to say one thing additivity additivity equal to false meaning of this parameter is whenever you call particular configuration two time for example the console configuration i am two places one is root level another one is a logger level okay since i am calling two times what will happen this console configuration will call two times in the console window in the console window it will call again two times that meaning whatever info statement i have provided that info statement will print two times let's see that now i'm stopping the server i remove this parameter by default, this parameter value is a true. Additivity equal to true by default. Now I'll start the server. Server is started now. I'm calling the same API. See here, in the console window it's printing six times because I'm calling two times. Even if it's a different different configuration, the logging framework call this console window console uh, logging framework call this console configuration two times to avoid such a scenario we need to use additivity equal to false 
by default additivity equal to true so i am changing to additivity equal to false i am restarting the server again server is started now clearing the lock now again calling the api see here now it's printing only three times because of this property otherwise it will give duplicate row to avoid that issue we are using additivity equal to false after completion of your configuration don't forget to use at slf4g annotation using this annotation only we can access this log.info log.info log.debug everything we can access through this annotation without this annotation we cannot utilize these methods okay i hope you people enjoyed this session enjoyed this logging framework configuration please take a code from the repository building this repository and set up in your local machine if you face this any issue please comment me definitely i will help you out i will come up with the next update for our building system until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video